Hello, YouTubers. How y'all yeah. doing? Good, good, I hope. Anyways, it's brewed by me. Back again. Gonna do another beer review. Yes, I am. Hope you guys are stoked, because I am. Anyhow, um, I, I had a big day today um, at work, and uh, then I came home and uh, cleaned up some kegs, sanitized some kegs, and uh, uh, filled some kegs. They're cold crashing now. I'll carve them up tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll give them a taste, see what you think. The three that I made are the first time I ever made them, so we'll uh, see what they taste like. Anyhow, so I'm gonna be reviewing a beer from Quebec. Yes, I am. Today I'm gonna be reviewing a beer from Les Trois Musketeers, which is in Brassard, Quebec, Canada. Um, now I've been doing a bunch of the uh, Les Trois Musketeers uh, beers, um, just cause I was, on the March break, I was at the cottage and uh, stopped at the uh, 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 the Panar there and picked up some. There was a sale. It was like three big bombers for like 15 bucks. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be reviewing there the Trois Musketeers Stickle Alt 6% ABV and look at that World Beer Awards Best Pale Ale Stickle Alt or something like that. Let me read it here. World Beer Awards, the America's Best Alt Beer Pale Ale. It's their signature series. Um, basically, it's a bunch of musketeers on the bottle. A nice label, plain and simple. And there's some information on the back. Uh, it's a cage. See what it says on the back. In Dusseldorf, when a brewer offers a bolder than usual alt beer, only faithful partons are told. It is a secret or stickle in German. The amber beer crafted from Quebecois malts and European hops is dominated by a grippling of bitterness. So, there you have it. I'm going to be using a glass you guys probably haven't seen for a while. My Grolsch glass. Yeah, I pulled a bunch of my glasses out of the storage. Washed them up and uh, put them in my uh, beer room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, popped off the cage. Hopefully this one doesn't explode like the last one. These things, the only thing about these things is they're hard to open. There we go. There we go. Smokage. I don't know if you guys got it. Now, I do like German alt beers. Ooh, we can smell the hops from here. Anyways, it's a beautiful mahogany color. As you can see, it's crystal clear, nice carbonation. My, what happens in the garage stays in the garage. Something like uh, the Vegas saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So, beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful colored beer. You got a nice finger and a bit of head. It's kind of an off-white head. Look at those tight-ass bubbles. Nice, nice looking beer. Yeah. Anyways, let's give it a smell, see what we get. Oh, big hits of caramel malts. Toffee. Sweet malts. Kind of a floral herbal kind of characteristic there some nice big dark fruit characters like uh, dark red apples maybe uh, even uh, plum not the dark plums but the lighter plums nice fruity smells there Sweet malts. Mm, smells good. Let's give her a go. Oh yeah, it's 
good. Mm. Oh yeah, I can see why it won a very uh, an award. All right, I take a sip of this. Right up front is that sweet caramel toffee kind of characteristics as it slides back your throat, you know, it slides across your tongue, you get those nice dark fruit characteristics and then that floral herbal kind of characteristic hits the back and dries fairly nice and then you're ready for another sip. Lower medium body. Um, moderate combina er, carbonation mm. oh yeah every sip is just sweet goodness but the hops actually balance it up fairly well it's not like <clears throat> super sweet in your face it's that nice balance of, of hops and malt But lots of that like caramel toffee kind of characteristic and nice dark fruits and wow. Hmm. I don't know how uh, this is classified as a pale ale, but alt beer or stickle alt, yes I understand. But a pale ale? I don't think so. Best alt beer pale ale. Anyways, I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Look at the beautiful lacing on the glass. Like, no alcohol legs on the glass. Just nice lacing. The, the head sticking around every sip I take. The lacing sticking there. But a very flavorful um, beer. So, yeah, my v my viewers can find this and you want to try something different a stickle old alt beer very good <clears throat> it's kind of a um, this is my first North American style alt beer I think or maybe not maybe my second um, but um, out of the, 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 the two I've had this is my favorite out of the two well, no, I'm lying to you guys. I've had three. I've had two from the Quebec breweries and one from Bose. And uh, Bose was good, but this one's better. I find, in my opinion, anyways. Um, so, yeah. If you guys can find it, give it a go. Um, if they're still on sale, I might pick up a few and uh, send them out. We'll see. Never know. Anyways, uh, malt profile. You got some uh, two row in there, some caramel crystal malts in there. Um, <clears throat> maybe a slight bit of roasted barley. Um, hops, German noble, European noble hops, uh, Halatar, Herzrucker, uh, Tetnang, something like that. Anyways, um, yeah, so. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, any suggestions or ideas in the comments box. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this beer. I might be back with another one. I'm not sure. It's getting late. So we'll see. And if not, I'll come back another day and uh, do another review. I want to thank you all for watching. And until next time, I'm out. Ch cheers!